Hi guys, it is Mad. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. And if you are new, make sure you click that subscribe button wherever it is to become a part of the trendiest place on the internet. So it's been a minute since I've done a sit down video like this. I've been really enjoying the vlog style situation. And also with that, I find so much more creativity in doing those kind of vlog style videos. So if you do have anything you wanna see from me, definitely let me know in the comments. But otherwise, I am going to be shifting more into that creative vlog cinematic type of video. But this video has been super highly requested. I'm going to be talking all about uh, basically how to get into FIT, essay tips, transcripts, application dates, deadlines, and some more stuff. The one thing that I can't give personal experience advice on is the portfolio section of the application, only because my major, um, my first major was advertising and marketing communications, and now I'm in cosmetics and fragrance marketing. Neither of those required a portfolio, but I will touch a little bit on it in this video and what I've heard from others slash what I read on the website. So without further ado, let's just get started on literally everything you need to know about applying for FIT. Now, if you guys haven't seen my first video on FIT, which was literally how I got in off the wait list, I would suggest you guys watch that so you have some backstory about my experience because let me tell you, it was crazy. I'll tell you how I got on the wait list and how I got off the wait list. It was quite the journey to say the least. And also, if there's something I for some reason don't cover in this video that you have a question about, definitely let me know in the comments because I get literally hundreds of DMs about FIT on a weekly basis. So I figured the best thing to do because I can't get to all of those DMs all the time is to basically just make a video and have everything in here so I can refer you guys over to this. But if you do have any additional questions, definitely let me know in the comments or DM me on Instagram at madthreads and we can talk about it there. The first thing I wanna mention is that FIT, the Fashion Institute of Technology, is a SUNY school, which is really nice that it's not a private school. So um, if you do live in state, you get that good in state public school tuition. Not saying it's affordable by any means because honestly education should be free and we should not have to go into debt to uh, further our education but that's a whole other topic for a whole other day besides that at the very least um the in-state tuition is not as high priced as like a private school if you are looking for a fashion school in the state of New York that's not absolutely outrageous. Um, in terms of private school costs, FIT is really good because it is a SUNY, so you can get the Excelsior Scholarship if you live in state um, and stuff like that, which is really nice. Overall at FIT, there are about 8,000 students. It's a pretty small school. We take up literally one block. <laughs> Although it's small and that's really nice because, you know, if you like smaller class sizes, there's only 18 to 20 kids per class. There is a very high level of competition because there are so few students. You do know mostly everybody in your major, I feel like. In my major at least, there's only like 50 to 75 kids. So let's talk about how to apply for FIT. So number one is to complete the SUNY application. And if you are applying for the fall semester, which overall I am going to be referring to if you are applying for a fall semester, but later on I will talk about if you're applying for a spring semester, what that would kind of look like. But in terms of the fall semester, um, you wanna complete the SUNY application by January 1st. And for step two, it would be to complete all the FIT supplemental materials requirements uh, by February 1st. That is if you are applying for the fall semester. So by February 1st, you will need transcripts, portfolio, essay, all of that kind of stuff. We're gonna get into each of those a little bit later in the video. So we're gonna start with transcripts. Like I said, you want them submitted by February 1st if you are applying for the fall semester. Um, now this is where I ran into problems, so please take my advice because I don't want you to get waitlisted because of a transcript mix-up. And that's what happened to me. Like I said, if you haven't watched my video, I get into the full story over there. But to summarize it, uh, my high school guidance counselor claimed she sent over my transcript, but it never made it. So when I emailed her and asked her, she said she never sent it. So it never actually went there, it never went to FIT, so by the time everyone was getting acceptance letters, 
I was just then realizing that my transcript never made it to FIT. Please just be on top of this one. And I'm telling you, when you uh, have your transcript sent over, follow up with those people or check your my FIT account under the application status every single day until you see it appear and if it's getting close to the deadline get in contact with the people who were supposed to send your transcript over and make sure that they took that step yeah just be aware of where your transcript is at now a lot of people have asked me how do you even send a transcript like how do you get that do you ask for it and basically um there's not much you have to do other than contact the either transcript office or your school advisor if you're in high school and uh, have them send it over so you're either going to want them to send it physically in a official stamped envelope to FIT's transcript office, or you can have a digital copy sent over. In my personal opinion, if possible, I would do both. If I could go back and do that again, I would send both. As for having something transferred from another college, which is also what I did, you basically just go to the uh, transcript office or transfer office. Um, you usually have to pay for your transcript. I think mine was between like 12 and $18, and you have an official copy sent over to FIT. So also with transcripts, uh, FIT does look for a 3.5 GPA. You don't need SATs or ACTs. You are welcome to submit them if you want to, but if you didn't take them or you don't want to take them or your grade isn't where you wanted your grade to be, don't worry. It's not going to affect your admissions if you don't submit it. I didn't even take the SAT or the ACT. Also, I would like to say, now this is my personal opinion. I don't have the facts on this. I don't know, but I'm just saying what I think versus also what others have said. In my opinion, I feel that FIT cares more about your essay than your grades. Because let me tell you, my high school GPA was nothing impressive, N nothing even close to impressive. I did not try in high school. I had no intentions to go to college. So this is coming from someone with like no care for school in the past. GPA wasn't great, but my college GPA was pretty okay. But I do feel like my essay is what pushed them to accept me into the school. Let's talk about the essay. And if you guys would like me to do a whole video where I read my admissions essay, oh my gosh, it's been years since I've read it. But if you would like me to do that, let me know in the comments and I will totally do a video where I read my essay. If it would help you guys in any way to see kind of how I structured it, then let me know because I will totally do that for you guys. So in terms of the essay topic, it's basically what makes you a perfect candidate for FIT and why are you interested in the major you are applying to. So I have read, I'm going to say hundreds of your guys' FIT essays. There have been some that have literally brought me to tears. Some of you guys are just like incredibly talented writers. I am always open to helping you guys uh, edit your essays or just give you feedback or suggestions but just know it does take me a little bit of time because I do get about 10 to 15 essay requests a week so send it to me as early as possible before the deadline so you know you're not counting on me to review it and then it takes a week or two for me to do so reach out to me on instagram just email me a google doc with your essay at madthreads at gmail.com and make sure you attach your Instagram handle so I can DM you and talk to you about your essay. So the word limit is 750 words, so you wanna be at that or under it, do not go over. My personal best advice for this essay, and I feel like I've told so many of you guys this, is to gas yourself up, okay? This is your chance to brag about yourself and your accomplishments and your future and your career goals. And FIT wants to know why are you different? Why should we pick you over everybody else? The way that you can get this across, like yes, you can go into the extracurriculars you've done, that's great. But don't spend your whole essay talking about, oh, I've done this and that. Um, spend more of the essay talking about, I did this and that. It got me to this point, and this is where it's gonna take me in the, f in the future. Make sure you add, this is why FIT is going to help me with said goal. My essay, I'll give you a brief synopsis. Um, I talked about wanting to own a cosmetics brand. I talked about my past in the beauty industry, where I'm at now, what I wanna do in the future, and how FIT is going to help me with this long-term goal. With all of that storyline, I also tied in a very personal 
deep story about my mom and her relationship to cosmetics. I tied that throughout, which is called the red thread. So make sure you have a red thread, something that carries through and tells a story that's deep and emotional while also hitting all the points of what I've done, where I'm at, where I'm going, and why FIT is going to help. Let the school know what you have to offer and what they can offer you. Because the question is, why are you perfect for FIT? And why are you interested in this major? So sell, sell the point. I've seen a lot of essays that start with, growing up, I loved watching America's Next Top Model and I cut out fashion from different magazines and made collages on my wall and that was really inspiring. It's a great story, but I don't know if that's exactly what FIT is looking for. They're looking for what makes you their next Calvin Klein, you know? They wanna see that special spark in you that makes you stand out amongst everybody else. You need a unique story that's going to put you in that place that makes you stand out, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm saying the same thing over and over again and kind of rambling but I just want to make it clear that this is your time to shine. Don't be afraid to say, hey, this is what I've done and this is where I'm going. And yes, I have big goals, but FIT will help me get there. And I would be honored to be an FIT student and future alumni. And really do your research on the school before writing your essay. I'm sure a lot of you have been doing that for years, but you know, maybe talk about specific classes that are going to elevate your education to the point of reaching that future career goal or maybe a certain professor that you're just so inspired by and would be honored to sit in their classroom and listen to their lecture. Mm -hmm. So my next suggestion would be to get everybody, peers, family, teachers, past teachers, friends, to review your essay. If you have anybody in your life that you trust to read such an intimate and personal essay, let them read it. Take every critique, overthink it, literally overthink it. I rewrote my essay probably, I'm gonna say eight or nine times, like completely scrapped it and started over until I finally found a storyline that was really sticking and working. And once I found my storyline that like eighth or ninth time, I then reworked that until it was what it is now and what I wound up turning in. I sent my essay to so many people um, one of my best friends in the world, Andrew, he helped me so much with writing my paper. He's one of the most intelligent people I've ever met in my life. I really don't think I would have gotten into FIT without him and how much support and revision he had put into my paper. So find somebody like that who genuinely will give you real raw feedback. I'll also do it for you. Like I said, feel free, email them to me, mattherds.gmail.com, you, know you know where to find me. Don't be afraid to rework it, and even if you think you have a good paper and someone's just like, I don't know, this is not hitting, this is not hitting the emotional chords for me, scrap it, try again. It's okay to let papers go. It's okay to come back to them. Definitely also allow yourself a lot of time. Don't procrastinate this paper. Give yourself time to write it and then come back with fresh eyes in a few days. Another really big thing I've noticed while editing college papers is cliches. I cannot tell you how much I personally hate cliches. Cliches are, are cliches for a reason. They do hold a lot of truth, but at the same time, cliches are not going to make you stand out. So find a new way to say something that's been said a million times before. Find a new way to tell that story, to share that piece of information about yourself, but try to avoid cliches because they're just super overdone. So just don't forget, tell a story in the paper, make it personal. Don't just make it a checklist of things you've done and things you've accomplished because you're more than your accomplishments. You have a story to tell. You have a reason why you wanna do what you wanna do. So don't be afraid to tell that story. And then this one's just for transfer students, but during the essay, you will also be prompted to include a list in progress courses. So courses that you're currently taking that may not have shown up on your transcript, but those are something you want to include as well. So onto the portfolio, things that I do know about it, because like I said, I did not have to submit one for my major. Then this one is only for the School of Art and Design. If you are in the business and technology school, you do not have to submit a portfolio, which 
was kind of nice, but also would have been nice if we could as well. You can only submit this part of the application after your SUNY application is received, and that also goes for the essay as well. So make sure that SUNY application is in first. Each design major has very different requirements for the portfolio, and I'm sure that there's other YouTube videos that talk about the FIT portfolio. So if I can find any, I'll put them in the description box. Thank you to the creators who have made them. All of these requirements are listed on the FIT website. So if you're photography, type in photography portfolio requirements and you'll be able to find that there. So each one is a little bit different. But I would say that my advice based off of things I've heard and read is to just once again, stand out, take your time on this. There are a lot of like cliche photos and designs that I feel like we see a lot, especially in photography. My boyfriend is a photographer. He goes to school for photography. There's a lot of cliches in photography, but try to avoid those at all costs. Do stuff that's gonna make you stand out, that's gonna catch the viewer's eye. Be critical of yourself. Allow others to critique your portfolio as well if you feel comfortable doing so. This next part is gonna be about semester dates. So don't mind if I'm like looking at my phone here, I'm going to be reading some dates to you. For the fall, all application items are due by February 1st and you will find out if you are accepted or not by April 1st. And if you don't find out by then, hop onto your application status on your My FIT account and see what happened. For the fall semester, move in is somewhere around August 20th. I think I moved in like the 17th or 18th of August back when I was dorming. And school begins sometime around August 30th. And then if you are an incoming freshman, orientation is the week prior to that. So that full week is all orientation. And the fall semester ends on or around December 22nd, 21st. For the spring, the deadline to get all the application stuff in is October 1st, and you should hear back around December. So get your applications in, kids, if you're trying to apply for the spring semester. And the spring semester begins somewhere around January 24th, it ends late May, like May 20th, 21st, depending on what day it falls each year. So let's talk about the costs of the school. In-state tuition is $6,100, and then room and board, as well as materials, is around $18,000. So the $6,000 for tuition is per semester, and the $18,000 for room and board and materials is collective for the year. So overall, it's gonna fall somewhere around $24,000 a year for in-state tuition. We wish education was actually free and actually affordable. As for out-of-state, the tuition is $12,000 a semester and room and board and materials are about $25,000. So it does cost more if you don't live in New York State. And that would be about $37,000 a year. Something else I do wanna mention is that if you are an incoming freshman living on campus, you are required at least as far as I know and as far as I can remember for my personal experience back when I was dorming in 2019 and early 2020 before the pandemic hit, uh, we were required to have the meal plan. You can get the lowest level one, but it is, uh, I think it was around a thousand like $1,200. Some of the dorms have a kitchen and bathroom and some of them don't. Alumni hall with a bathroom, kitchen, and two bedrooms. So you would have three other roommates. As for co-ed, I think that those have kitchens as well. Let me double check that. I don't really know. So some of the floors, I guess, have double and quad occupancies. Uh, the suites have private bathrooms and kitchens. And then there are also traditional style double and triple rooms with the facilities on the floor. So kitchen and bathroom would be on the floor. And then there's Nagler Hall, which is an all female residence hall. It is all traditional style. So each floor has like a community bathroom, laundry room and refrigerator. There's also a limited number of air conditioned sweets which is so weird to me like why is it not air conditioned i don't know so there are a lot of options in terms of first year and then if you are an upperclassman or a sophomore you would be going over to kaufman hall which is 31st street so it's a little walk from campus but it's not anything horrible so there are one two three and four bed loft style suites 
All the apartments have bathrooms and kitchens per room. It also has a computer lab and a fitness center in the building, which is really nice. You don't have to go all the way back to campus to access those things. All right, y'all, so that is all of the information I have for you in today's video. I hope this was helpful. I hope you kind of got some direction if you were looking for it. And if you do have any other specific questions for me, please either leave them in the comments or message me on Instagram and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you. Let me know if you guys wanna see anything else about FIT, including my personal essay that I wrote. I will gladly read that to you guys. And if there's anything else I can do for you, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.